Okay, Angolim's time to shine. To the dungeon. Angolim, let's go. Okay, and we want last say so that we can villain the Erland, assuming it's Erland Muta. We caught Angolim round one, sick. Mm, okay, and we can Angolim to put back Temple to put back the Brockle on Sentinel. Temple on ST. What do we even want to take into hand? We could take, I don't know, Renfrey? So that we don't miss Renfrey? Ravenon, full test, Draug. Okay. Ravenon, full test, and Draug. That's not that scary, I think. Yeah, I feel like it's not that scary. Need something, governor. Gezra or Figus? Figus can defend against Onseus or Geralt of Rivia. We don't have that many units in this deck for that. That's pretty sweet, sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Temple high roll, by the way. Can I get armor? How do I give armor to my Zoltans? Don't think I can, unfortunately. Oh, actually, I have Saskia that can play a tempering. Saskia can play a tempering if I go for dwarf. Nerf <laughs> Angolim. Uh. I'm gonna have to try to win this round. So, what do we want if we wanna try to win this round? Do we want Renfri? Do we want a Zoltan? I mean, a Zoltan, I don't have Saskia right now, so Zoltan's not as great, right? I think we'll take Renfri, and then we'll just lead her in this round if we need to. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Blaze in a hand is not great, because this is a card I don't really want to play in this round. How much movement do I have? I have three movement cards. We can leave the Milva out on the board on the last movement card. Our hand's really crappy, yeah. Really crappy. <laughs> I mean, the Milvas are okay. Oxenfur Scholar is okay. Renfrey is good. Renfrey could get us something else, too, if we take, like, Sloth. If we can run free early and then get cooldown on that, that's pretty good too. Long live, etc. Et um. Oh, outburst of parties, temple. Easy. Movement. Onward! Shotkirk leads the way! Uses the transform, okay. Uh. Tia! Yo! You were streaming today? Hey! How you doing? Welcome everybody from Tia's stream. Um, what were you streaming today? Were you streaming Lorcana? Lorcana? Pause champ? That would be really cool. Elven yeah, a bit? Nice. How'd it go? Did you make any changes to your Amber Steel deck? And Miss Lady J's new game. Oh, how do you even pronounce that game's name? F4E? No, but you won? Nice. I haven't had a chance to try it. I I 
uh, I think it's ending like the freaking oh it's it's pronounced Fay okay um I haven't had a chance to try it yet I think there's like half a day left right in the play test but I want to finish Cocoon today maybe I'll try it off stream or something later if I have time what did you think about it siege support uh yeah we want to kill that. Okay, let's do this. Wait, wait. Let's do... This. Dreadfully sorry. <laughs> I trust no one. Never have. This. This. And then do we click this? He didn't kill it last turn with like a Sintra and Knight. I don't think he's gonna kill it this turn. I think we could keep it for more removal. For more removal reach in case he wants to play like a Radovid or something. This would help us kill the Radovid. Pretty good for a play test. Okay, hey Jess. Hello. Tonight is the last night to play Faye. I won't be able to hear. Sound is on mute. Agreed. Okay. Okay, he got his iris in the graveyard. We are looking like we're winning on even, though. Mm. Mm. Let me see here. How do I do this? I want to kill as much as stuff as much stuff as possible, right, on my turn. Don't you fret about me. Can take care of myself. He still has reach, but he is down a cart. He still has reach, but he's on blue. He's got four points here. Onseus is like... Onseus is like 19-ish. Uh, uh, he's still waiting for me to do that. I could have held everything. I could have held the ping here. I could have held the ping on the dwarf to kill this. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. I could pass here, though. I have last say. If I pass here, I have last say, and then we can villain him. But he can he can kill our villain with Onseus. We have Defender, but then he could kill our Defender with, like... He could propeller our Defender... He could shoop our defender. Igni our... He could Igni our... Yeah, maybe. But if I keep playing, once he plays as on Seis, he's going to get out. So. The problem is once he plays as on Seis, he is going to get out. Um, Down one instead of down two. Here he has to be down too, and we have, this gives us our best chance, I think. Maybe he doesn't end up drawing the Peller and he can't get through the Defender, you know? He's not going to play... Yeah, it's good if he plays on Seis, but if we don't have last say, it doesn't matter whether he has the on Seis or not. Like, we won't be able to scorch his, his Erland, and his Erland is fairly big. He played one, two, three, four units on the back row, and he played this. So his Erland's pretty big. His Erland's going to be 30-something, maybe, maybe more. Why not full leader Renfrey? I thought about it too. I thought about that option as well. Mm. Hey, Salido. Yeah, I'm going to keep the Purify. He should Dry Pass here, right? Um, I'm thinking if we should hold this for the Dry Pass card. I feel like we should probably hold this for the Dry Pass card. Our, our hand is fairly good. 
But I also worry about, like, not draw. I have so many golds left in the deck. There's so many golds left in the deck. I'm not going to be able to draw all of these. Also, if I take a mulligan, I think I could have drawn into a second Brockland Sentinel. Pyrotech kills Erland. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Yo, do we keep the Pyrotech? And we just play a Scholar? I mean, his Erland might be... His Erland might be 5 power because of this Iris Companions. Nah, I think we play the Pyrotech. Uh -oh. Seems very optimistic. And we have another Pyrotech in the deck. Twelves are just good. Twelves are just good. Sappers, I think we do want Sappers. Especially, it would be really good if we draw Mictor Bracky and then we could get rid of the Sappers if we don't need it. We don't have a Milva anymore. So, I, so many golds left in the deck. My god. Good lord, dude. Okay, we need Renfrey to get us villain. We need Renfrey to get us villain. Let us sing the song of steel. In sloth we trust, yeah. Or Renfrey to get us Mirk to Bracky is also fine. Look at how many... Dude, we have five golds left. How many provisions do we have in here? <laughs> Holy crap, dude! Oh, we have three 13s and two 12s in our deck. Yeah, I think it would have been... In, it's probably was better to just full leader Renfrey in round one. Full leader Renfrey in round one gets his Onseus... Uh, or we went on even, and we get to thin. This is not a matchup where we really need the leaders that badly. Although, I mean, he does have a Draug. The leaders will help clear out the Draug stuff. Do I need to kill this? What does he do if I don't kill this? Like, how does he activate this, though? What does he play that has Order Zeal? How do I even kill it anyways, even if I wanted to? I have to, like, Bowman plus Full Leader. Draug? I feel like this is bait. Tower. Yeah, tower. Shinmi Chupei. I feel like this is bait. I, I think we want to do this instead. Hold the line. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in Get hand. more reach out onto the board. He's gonna unsay us for 14 and pull out a 14. I don't think he can pull out a 14, right? Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> oh man, god damn it. All oh, right, there's the lock. Okay. All right, so. For your bed. How much damage do I have? Four plus five, nine damage? Nine damage. Okay. Time for you to die, Duan. <sighs> Anything row locked here? I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep stacking. How are we going to deal with Draug? Yeah, 
letting this live was bad. Because now, I, then I, I just spent stuff to kill the squire when I could have just killed this instead. Now he leaders for Draug, and then clicks Draug. Wait, no, when he clicks Draug, this transforms, and then it doesn't bring anything else out anymore, so that's fine, right? Anseus won't have like a 14 to pull out from the deck. Most likely not. Yeah, we go for Ren free play of bronze with a three. Yeah. I didn't get it. Pride, Wrath. Uh... I can't answer Erland. Okay, I mean, we just lose, right? Like, our hands. We just drew so bad. We drew so bad. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh! A wee hint. Danny Jigolis. <laughs> Wait! Oh, he's gonna lock it. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't take the lock. He didn't take the lock. I mean, we have Defender. Erlen might be 5. Yeah, Erlen might be 5, and then we're just sad. Because of the, uh, because of this, Iris Companions. But we have, this, this is our last chance, right? Because we missed so hard. This was my high roll. Go for the lowest provision 4P card and get the Pyrotech, and then kill the Erlen with this. Chat, you guys gotta believe, man. Stop saying Erlen is a five and just have some faith. Was it better to try scroll high rolling scroll from stratagem leader? Uh yeah, that might have been that might have been better. Um, I I filled the front row though, so it was a bad like it was a bad um, option for me. I shouldn't have filled the front row. I also have to snipe him even if he's at four. <laughs> yeah, so it was better to go for scroll for sure. It was better to go for scroll. What was the goal of row stacking? It was so that our villain Tretonmirth behind the defender would not get uh, igni. I wanted to be able to play my 11 power villain Trentonmirth behind the defender without getting Ignite. Um, but uh, at the same time, like maybe just because of row is full, we have too many units that we have to play in the back. I don't know, maybe it's not good. You think he was trying to go for hand buff? Maybe? Oh? Come on! <laughs> One time! One time! I need to I need to snipe this Erlen in order to win, I think. I mean, I have 12, 12, 14. 12, 12, 14, 12, 12, 15. It's a lot of points, but his Erlen's probably like 40. His Erland is probably enough points to cover almost all of the rest of our, our, our points this round. We're up, we're up what, 15? We're up 15 and we're getting another 40? 39? 40? 50, yeah, so like, we have 55 points. 50 points after you count, get rid of this. Erland's 40, then these other two cards need to be 15 to tie us. It's actually kind of close, even if we don't snipe the Erland, it's actually kind of close. Oh, Anseus, Anseus is 30. Yeah, Anseus is 30. Jesus. I demand satisfaction. Now. He also has, like, a Geralt, potentially, right? Some sort of Geralt. 
I mean, whatever I whatever I play here is going to play into Geralt Igni, unfortunately. And it's not worth it to discard if we're playing against Igni. Hopefully it's a Geralt of Rivia. He does have to play Erlen now. We can't lose! We can't lose, chat! Sorry, totally scammed. We may be dead even with snipe. No, nah, I mean, maybe. I think if we snipe it, we're probably okay. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> the one time, baby! Oh man, we can't lose! We can't lose, chat! <laughs> Hesitation is defeat! Oh my god. Hesitation is defeat, chat. Oh my god, we needed that! We win by five! Whoo! With that click speed! <laughs> we can't lose, Ranger! We can't lose! Rust call. We can't lose, money shot! Oh. <laughs> Dude, we were so dead! Dandelion Show Reboot. We can't lose, White Wolf. We can't lose, Sarasaur. We can't lose. We can't lose. Oh, GG. GG, the dude. Genius, says Firewalk. Thanks. He was on the board for all of two seconds. Yeah, we're going to YouTube this one for sure. Dude, we were so hopeless. I was, like, down in the dumps. We missed... We missed, like, 60 provisions worth of golds in this game. Five golds that were 12 or 13 provisions each in the deck. 60, yeah, 60-ish provisions of golds in the deck. And we still managed to win with the slight glimmer of hope on the red... Like, we missed... Not only did we miss the golds, then we missed Renfrey Sloth. Then we got the option for Blessing, the last hope, onto Blessing of, what is it called, Charity or Chastity, that um, plays the lowest provision card. We had, to, we had to high roll into that 4P pro, pro... I mean, how many things had to go right this game? We had to high roll into... After we missed Sloth, we had to high roll into the right Blessing... Hyrule into the exact Pyromancer as on all our 4P cards, out of all our 4P cards, get the Pyromancer, and then hit the 1 in 7 or 1 in 8 to hit the Erland. <laughs> oh man, yeah, he could have locked Pyrotech. He had the chance to shoot lock Pyrotech. Did he never play Rune Mage? Wait. Maybe he never played Rune Mage this game. I think that's what happened. He didn't play Rune Mage round one. He never draw. The, he never drew the Rune Mage. So maybe he missed the lock as well. Oh my god! And he even like I didn't ever seen that Radovid taunt before. Radovid like pop, um, you know, kind of like hit his chest. He's like, huh. and he did that emo right before he played the Erland. <laughs> Oh man, what a game. What a game. <sighs> and we needed him to have Erlen in hand before the Iris too, yeah, in round one. I failed two times with RNG trying to save Erlen. Rodea and Shoop. Oh yeah, yeah, your Rodea went for hand buff, your Shoop went for lock. Didn't find either of those. Wow. <laughs> that was an epic game. Woo! All right. Man, I don't know. I don't know if I can top that. Maybe we should just go to Cocoon now.